Crypto guys. This is Mitch with, uh, uh, what am I? Graveyard Prospecting. And uh, I am reshooting my intro because the first one, quite frankly, stank. Stank bad. And I almost spilled some beans that I didn't want to spill. And that's the first rule of Gold Club, right? You don't talk about Gold Club golf club so anyway today I uh, interrogated a snail he was a coward he didn't even get out of his house to you know have a discourse with me uh, I learned that the power of two buckets the power of buckets in love is amazing you can't separate them. It's a, a, you know, it's almost impossible. And I'm a little jealous because, you know, that's true love. I hope all of you have a bucket at home. I got a good, you know, bucket woman at home. I'm missing her. I've been out here for 12 hours. That's right, wife. I just compared you to a bucket. Everything in prospecting is uh, comparable to anything else in life. And what else did I learn? I don't know why I do this, but I just, uh, you know, what did I learn? Hmm. I'm sure there was something else. Oh, oh yeah. I can't manifest anything with my brain. I tried, I tried real hard. Either I just lack the mental capacity or, um, or it's just not possible. Tell people believe in it. I'm a little skeptical I really wanted to find a nugget and uh, couldn't make it happen I could have gone sniping today maybe I don't know I don't know if I could have actually so I did I, I woke up super early I had the gold bug and I wanted to go and I spent probably 12 hours today digging and not just digging but farting around too because I like it so, yeah, and I'll show you guys what I got because I think I got it. I hope I got weighable gold from all the work I put in today. And uh, I've never done this, and this is the first time. But if you like the video, like and subscribe. Uh, let's get this thing going. It's fun. I like to do it. Uh, leave some replies. Answer some questions. I'll ask questions. And uh, if you know the answer, leave a reply. Or even if you uh, just want to yak. You just want to talk. You know, leave a reply. I'll, 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 I'll answer. You know, it's cool. This is a cool community. Us, us prospectors, so... I'm grateful to be able to do this and I'm thankful that my bucket at home, my bucket lady, loves me enough to uh, support me doing this. So, Yeah. And you know what? Everybody have a good day. Okay, so we are facing our first hurdle of the day. Two buckets. They won't come apart. I tried my pry bar. I tried squeezing it between my legs uh like you know let me give it another try the power of christ compelled you those those buckets man oh well i'll keep trying right now I'm at the spot where I was getting gold, 30 counts of gold right out of right out of this area. And I want to begin. But first I gotta get these buckets loose. That's a fight that I'm gonna win eventually. Please God. Alright, see you guys. Okay, so check this out. All 
of this is packed up on this bedrock and it goes all the way up here and I find this stuff. Well, that's rock with quartz going through it. So that's always a good sign. If anybody doesn't know that. Ah, now you do. <laughs> so yeah, let's keep going. I'm ready for my first bucket. All right, so check it out guys. Underneath all these rocks, all this good gravel and uh, that's where the gold is it's packed up in between two pieces of bedrock right here right here and I think we're gonna do great today I really do really really do and hopefully we run into some animals you know how them crowd ads like to hide the gold and the lizards don't say nothing so we'll see what happens so this is a look at the material that I'm finding with the gold. And as you can see, it's all quartzy and awesome. I found a big old round boulder with like a couple bulges of rust sticking out of it. And it was cool. Think about breaking that open, but these are nice. I like these rocks. If you're a rock hound, if you guys know anything about... This one especially, let me know, cause I think it's neat. Kinda looks like a dragon egg. And I know dragons are for nerds, but I'm a nerd. And uh, who cares? This is awesome. Let's keep going. All right, I found another animal to interrogate. A water snail, freshwater snail. It's a mollusk. Everybody knows that. All right, where's the gold? Hey, where's the gold? I'll keep you out here in the air. I won't really. Just tell me, man. Why do you guys keep it all a secret? You ain't saying nothing. What about your wife and kids? Huh? Nah, he doesn't care. He just goes along makes as many kids as he wants to because he's a, a pimp snail all right pimp snail you just be cool like that i'll i'll talk to somebody else uh, okay so i saw gold in my indicator mat on my sluice but i want to make sure that i'm still because i was getting insane numbers for gold and I want to make sh in my test pans. I want to make sure that I'm still on that pace, like twenties and thirties, or even tens. That's fine. Those things add up. Come on, let's see that gold start popping out. Any second. Any second. Uh oh. Well, we got one piece right there. Let's move this big old turd out of the way. That's right, I used the T word. Get out of there. All right. Oh, we can't just do, oh, right here. There's a piece. Good, good, good. Let's move it up over there. All right, so keep going. Two pieces in a, in a prospecting pad is not that great. Row, row.
Oh, another piece just popped up. Right here by that one. Now we've got three total pieces. i got to move that one back. I don't know why he's trying to hang out with dirt, sand, stuff that we don't want. All right. So now he's back up there with those. Uh, oh. There's another little speck right there. On the outside. Come on. Let's get colorful here. Another little speck at the top. This is not, not what I was testing before. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. All right, so we've got one, two. A little one right up top there. Right, there's a little one right there. Three, four, five, six. Huh. Oh, wait, seven. Oh, wait, eight. Okay, so that's not great. That is not great. We were doing so much better here. <sighs> well, another test pan. Got to test, 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 test. All right. Well, second pans, our second bucket's down. Did I say I was going to be 15 today? I must be crazy. I have too much fun goofing around out here. It's, uh, it's great. You know, I like to interrogate the animals and all that, but you're probably wondering what's in the box. Well, the last test pan was a liar because a whole bunch of color showed up in that, in that, uh, that bucket. So, you know, it's cool. And you're like, show us. No, I'm not going to do that. I got other plants for you right now. Other plants. So, right here underneath this shelf, those rocks are packed in so hard I can't move them. And I am not going to leave this spot until I pull out a big piece of gold right there. That's what's going to happen. I'm manifesting it. It's going to happen. You wait and see. Look at these beautiful rocks. They look like turds on the outside, but on the inside, they are gorgeous. Got sulfides in there, got some redness in there. Just look, look at that. I might crush some of this. I might take some home and crush some because that's just cool looking and I'll keep I'll probably keep one too because why not beautiful rock beautiful rock okay look what I found a feather you know what that means there's a pervert bird out there without clothes on and he's probably not allowed to come between you know 50 feet in front of a school but it flies by anyway because it can <sighs> nature's sick it disgusts me pervert all right guys well as you can see there is gold all over the indicators look at that pile of little tiny teensy weensy ones right there um Let's see, they're all mostly on this side because I was probably running my sluice a little crooked. And look at here, more and more, more and more and more and more micros. Little tiny guys, oh, there's a flakage, there's a flake. Um, let's see, can I get it in there? There's a bunch of micros right there. 
And... Right there. So, and actually they're all throughout. They're just hard to see. There's a glare. So we're getting gold, which is excellent. I need my sluice to clean out because I'm going to cross that deadly river. And yeah, lots of, oh my gosh. Sorry. I should have went out. Well, yeah. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of finds in there. So I'm going to cross the river. There's a accumulation of bedrock over there that, uh, or, uh, of heavies on the bedrock over there that I have to investigate. And so I'm going to go do that. Okay, so if all these monster rocks got pushed up between this bedrock and that bedrock, there should be something awesome there. So let's see. I mean, I tried to manifest before, but it didn't work. Maybe I didn't do it right. But this has to be a good spot. It has to be. It slackens up right here. Um... Yeah, and it had enough force to shove boulders up there and gravel. Let's see. Let's get it. All right, well, let's see. I already have two flakes for my concentrates. And the lighting here stinks. But that was really good start to things. Um, I think I'm going to do this. And then just show it to you. I don't think I'm going to go through the whole, the whole process. I'm at home with my bucket lady. So, next, next will be the, sh I'll show you what's in there. Alright guys, this is what I got from my day yesterday. Some damn fine material. This thing, I don't know what that is. That's just weird. It's super, oh, it's heavy. I found a, whoops, BB. It's definitely not lead, it's brass. And then, where'd it go? Where'd it go? What? I thought I just, oh. This chunk of whatever that is, is heavy. You heard it hit. There's another one. Yeah, those ones up here. These are all heavies. I think I got one more. Yeah, you could hear them. Mm, focus. Hey, phone. Focus. There we go. Where'd the other one go? Anyhow. Are these lead? They're semi-spherical. They lead... Are they flakes covered in mercury? Fellas, I don't know. I like those flakes up there, though. Bam. All right. So, this is the conclusion of the video. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Got some big news coming up. And I will see you later out on the water. Or not. Maybe I'll be in a cave. Who knows? Have a good one, fellas. Keep digging.